In this episode, we're discussing what mechanical engineers do, the types of jobs they can have, Houston, we have a problem, the industries where they work, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If you wanna be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Mechanical engineering graduates are sought by employers in almost all sectors of engineering. Each year, there are more mechanical engineering graduates by far than any other type of engineer. This shows how wide the trade really is and how you can work in any field that you like. Later on in this video, I have a detailed breakdown of all the fields that you can work on, but first, what do mechanical engineers actually do? Mechanical engineers research, design, develop, build, and test mechanical and thermal devices, including tools, engines, and machines. They design and oversee the manufacturing of many products, ranging from medical devices to new batteries. They also design power producing machines, such as electric generators, internal combustion engines, and steam and gas turbines, as well as power using machines, like refrigeration and air conditioning systems. In terms of the tasks, the duties, what mechanical engineers actually do and work Work on can break it down into these five areas. They analyze problems to see how a device might solve that problem. They may design or redesign mechanical and thermal products using analysis and computer aided design to solve that problem. They may develop and test prototypes of devices that they design. They may analyze the test results and change the design as needed. And they may also oversee the manufacturing of a device that they designed. You could be involved with just one or two of these processes or the entire end-to-end -end life cycle of that device. Comment below if you think that mechanical engineering is the right fit for you and why. Mechanical engineers generally work in offices, like most engineers who work outside of the construction industry. They may occasionally visit work sites where a problem or piece of equipment needs their personal attention. They work mostly in engineering services, research and development, and manufacturing industries. Like other engineers, mechanicals use computers to help create and analyze their designs, run simulations, and test how a machine is likely to work. There are three types of mechanical engineering professional exams which helps us to understand the three core areas where design happens. You may not always work with design. Again, it could be research and development, but if you're going to design something in your career as a mechanical engineer, you will most likely be in one of these three areas. That's what the professional engineering exam is for, so you can stamp a plan that you designed so that component, that device, that entity can actually go into manufacturing to be made and then solve a problem in the world. Those three areas are machine design and materials, thermal and fluid systems, and HVAC and refrigeration. And now that you have a better understanding of what mechanical engineers actually do, let's take a look at all the submarkets where you could potentially get a job. In many roles, you will become an engineering specialist within a certain industry. Most professionals do this in their career. You can switch it up if you like. Snap back to reality. But generally, it takes five to 10 years to truly become an expert in one niche area. We the best. So for example, if you start out your career in aerospace engineering and you really like it, you will probably stay in that industry for the entirety of your career. As long as you like it, as long as you're happy. You can switch it up if you choose, but most engineers, they choose a niche and they stay there. For example, with me, I'm a civil, I'm a transportation engineer. I will most likely not deviate too far from transportation engineering. With that being said, I'm gonna talk about 12 sub-markets that you could potentially work in. So stick along to the end of this video because these are all really cool areas. Starting with the one that we already mentioned, mentioned aerospace engineering. I see a lot of questions like, can I become an aerospace engineer as a mechanical engineer and vice versa? And the answer is yes. Within the aerospace sector, a graduate engineer will work with new technologies. For example, advanced materials, new manufacturing processes, or highly efficient cooling systems converting demanding requirements into optimized production component designs. Later in their careers, they might be leading the innovation of these technologies. For example, the composite fan blades or power gearbox for the ultrafan. That's an engine that Rolls Royce makes for airliners. Alternatively, they may be leading engineering teams that apply those technologies to the next generation of power systems. The automotive industry. A mechanical engineer in the automotive industry will closely work with engineers from other disciplines and will often become a multi-skilled engineer. 
engineer. They may specialize in a particular area, such as body engineering, chassis engineering, powertrain engineering, manufacturing, or engineering quality. With Tesla, Toyota, GM, Nissan, and many other car manufacturers making electric vehicles, there are many opportunities to work in futuristic technologies. The world's transportation is gradually seeing an increase in the use of electric or hybrid cars. In addition, car parts suppliers are often tasked with designing the most innovative systems within an automobile. The manufacturer itself is often more concerned with integrating the technology. For example, a company that applies industrial coatings to auto parts also designs and builds the robots that apply that coating. The built environment industry. Mechanical engineers in the built environment sector are responsible for designing the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and smoke vent systems that make up these buildings. They can work on projects ranging from hospitals, offices and shopping malls, to airports, universities, and railway systems. As they mature professionally, they will often take on responsibility for other technical disciplines to produce coordinated designs that meet client requirements. The chemical industry. Mechanical engineers in the chemical industry are typically involved in delivering reliable improvements, technical support, or major capital expenditure projects on a range of cutting edge automated production assets, including conveyors, industrial ovens, pipework, valves, pumps, and robotics. The defense industry. Engineers in the defense industry are involved in the design, development, and testing of complex mechanical systems. Through 3D modeling and a range of analysis tools, they ensure that the structural integrity, thermal properties, mass, manufacturing, assembly, and cost of the equipment meet the requirements of the air, sea, or land operating environments. The consumer goods industry. Most of the graduate roles in the fast moving consumer goods industry are of those in two areas, manufacturing slash engineering, or supply network operations and logistics. For both of these areas, the work is not defined in nice separate buckets of mechanical, electrical, chemical, but it is normally a mixture of different engineering disciplines as a general manufacturing or logistics engineer. Graduates will pick up skills from other disciplines as they grow through their training and career. You guys may be noticing, but certain sectors will utilize more general skill sets. So if you're not absolutely in love with aerospace or automotive engineering, you can go into one of these fields like consumer goods and logistics such that you can pick up peripheral industries and figure out your absolute mechanical engineering passion along the way. The marine industry. An engineer in the marine industry could be involved in designing, installing, or maintaining the engines, boilers, shafts, and propellers that power a world fleet. You could be part of enforcing national or international regulations for sea and air pollution or designing the next generation of cleaner ships. The materials and metal industry. An engineer in the materials and metals industry will be involved in the design, development, and testing of a range of complex mechanical systems. They will work on the full maintenance life cycle of the mechanical plant items, such as steam turbines, gas turbines, pumps, valves, pipework, coal mills, and fans. The oil and gas industry. An engineer at an oil company will work with a range of equipment such as gas turbines, compressors, heaters, vessels, and piping. For example, they might investigate operational difficulties or help to build new assets and modify existing ones. Mechanical engineers at an oil service company are responsible for designing the equipment and machines that the offshore engineers and technicians depend upon, such as pipelines, valves, and turbines, making sure that they are reliable, efficient, and safe to use. Biomedical engineer. Working in the biomedical industry, mechanical engineers change lives. They create better, more lifelike artificial limbs to improve the quality of life for injured and disabled people. Pacemakers, artificial valves, and even robotic surgical assistants are all the work of mechanical engineers, as are the running blades used at Paralympic events. The power generation industry. Energy production relies on mechanical engineers to design, build, and maintain structures and systems that collect, contain, and transmit vast amounts of energy from wind turbine blades, gearboxes and towers to high pressure boilers and nuclear reactors. And finally, the rail industry. Engineers in the rail industry will work on overhead line systems and will write specifications for these systems, review designs and answer technical queries. Some mechanical engineers become track engineers, which involves doing the same jobs, but on the track systems instead. So those are 12 different sectors that you could find yourself working in as an engineer, the tasks that you may be doing, and the types of avenues you could go down as a designer within mechanical engineering. Comment below on what you believe is your favorite industry in mechanical engineering. We wanna hear from you. If this video helped you guys and you wanna be a successful engineer, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. If you want the 1% engineer kit, follow the links in the description. There's also a link to the Facebook group. 
And as always, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers!